Hey everyone, so we are heading to the airport. We're actually going to be flying to Italy for a couple of weeks. This is my second time in Italy. My first time I went with my girlfriend and that was back in 2003, so it's been a long, long while, way too long. This time I am going with my hubby and it is his first time there. We are going to be spending seven nights in Florence and then heading up to Venice for three nights and then heading over to Rome for three nights and then we're back in Toronto. So I actually bought a new camera for this trip because my other vlogging camera was very shaky. I got this little guy. This is the Canon G16. I've actually had the G10, the G15, and now the G16. I love this line of cameras. So I just want to show you my outfit. This is my outfit for traveling, so it's super comfortable. I'm just wearing this long tank top, and I don't remember the brand, but I got it at Winners. And then underneath, I have on a little gray tank, and this is from Smart Set. It's super comfortable, and they were on sale two for $22. It's a V on one side and a scoop neck on the other side, so you can reverse it and have like two different looks. So it's really versatile. I also have this scarf, and this is from, I think, Black Market on Queen Street. I have on a little cardigan for layering because it's chilly out, and I also have my leather jacket from All Saints. On my legs, I'm just wearing these tights from Lululemon, and then I have my Crocs on. These are the best shoes to travel in, bar none, and I will always be repurchasing this style. My Balenciaga pom-pom, and I've been wearing it just over the shoulder like this. that overlooks the Piazza del Duomo. So behind me is the door that you enter to come into the flat. This is what you see when you come inside. We have a couple of umbrellas and then we have a little bench here. We have some stairs going up to one half of the apartment and here is the little kitchenette. Coming around the corner, we have a little kind of breakfast nook with a coffee maker and then straight ahead is the balcony, which I'll show you in just a sec. This is our bathroom. Again, just a standard bathroom. So here is the balcony with a lovely view of um, like a Florence side street. And we just have a clothes rack here because on the balcony we have a little washing machine. So now let me go ahead and show you the rest of the apartment. Here we have like a little desk and sitting area and then there's just a small TV that we have on for some background noise. And then this is the bedroom here. You guys saw the bed in my um, What's in My Bag video. Then we have again a beautiful view of the Duomo. And then this is basically a view of the bedroom from um, the corner of the room. So that same window, um, the door that I came in through with the TV outside. And then we have like a big wardrobe. Just really, really loving it. There's hubby. <laughs> We're gonna head out for dinner now. This is our appetizer. I've been wanting to try this um, specialty. It's from the Colonnata region and it's basically like a cured meat, similar to a bacon. That's all of these like ribbons here. So really, really excited they had it on the menu today. It was actually one of their daily specials. And this is some kind of cheese, I'm not sure what. And this is just some toasted bread with um, some olive oil. Hams and cured meats hanging from the ceiling, from the beams. So I thought that was kind of neat. I got the parpadelle. This is my absolute favorite pasta and it's got a wild boar ragu on top. And then my hubby has the farfalle pasta and it has a cream sauce, lots of cream sauce. And it is a truffle scented sauce. 
Good morning everyone! We are going to be climbing the Duomo. We're actually going up into the dome up top there. It's 463 steps. So right now we are on the dome and you can see the shadow of the dome on the houses below. And next we're going to be climbing the bell tower. These are the sides of the dome and a gorgeous view of Florence. We are about halfway up the bell tower and we have a beautiful view of the dome from here. So here we are up at the top of the bell tower. We were previously on the dome. This one is a little bit shorter at 414 steps, but this one I found a lot harder. Pubs and I just went to the grocery store and we picked up some drinks and some snacks and some stuff to make sandwiches. So I'll just show you a few of the things that we got. This is the stuff we bought for sandwiches. We bought these little like um, loaf breads, I guess. So that's what that looks like. And then we picked up this um, Toscano salami. Figured it was local, so hopefully it is. And then just some prosciutto. We also picked up this cheese. It's called Mazdam. And I like to try cheeses I've never heard of, so we'll see what that tastes like. They also had Emmental, but we've had that a few times, so thought we would go with this one. And then we bought these little aperi fresco, and they're just like little snackies, and you can use these little toothpicks to skewer them. So I thought that was interesting, and we're gonna give those a try. These are bocconcini. And then we just bought some chips. We like to try like the different varieties of chips that they have, so this is just like a rosemary scented one. This one is a Lay's, but I think it's like just tomato and I guess parsley. And then this is paprika, which is popular here, so we have it um, usually when we're in Europe. So here's a closer look at the bocconcini. So we are now here at this pharmacy slash perfumery. Apparently this is a museum slash store, so we're gonna go inside and check it out. a little bar called Zoe and we're doing something called aperitivo. So basically what you do is you buy a cocktail which gets you access to a little buffet of like finger foods. So we just have a bunch of like little sandwiches here. Sometimes they have pasta and cheeses and deli meats and the like. So yeah, this is in place of our dinner tonight. Hi everyone! So it is the middle of the day, actually it's towards probably 5 or 6 o'clock on Tuesday and I haven't vlogged at all today because today was pretty much spent in galleries and museums and we weren't allowed to take any photo or video so I just basically am going to do a talk through. So today we went to three galleries and we had guided tours at two of them. It was recommended to us by a friend, his name is Lior and he was amazing full of knowledge. He is an art history major and he did his thesis at the Bargello, so we started our day there. The Bargello is a building that was converted from a prison into a gallery and it houses sculpture, which is probably my favorite form of artwork. After the Bargello, we went to the Uffizi and there he just took us to like the key pieces of art because we didn't have a whole lot of time. So we saw the key works of art and then um, we parted ways with Lior. My hubby and I stayed inside the Uffizi and we had a little snack 
and then we just wandered around a little bit. After our little gelato and siesta break, it was time for us to go to the Academia, and this is where the Statue of David resides, the um, original statue, not the reproductions. And that is really like the main attraction of the Academia. Hi everyone, so we are here at dinner. We're having the Florentine steak today, which is a huge hunk of meat, and ours is just sitting right there on the counter. Measurement of our Florentine steak, it is 1.108 kilos. Yeah, we'll see if we can finish this. Our appetizer just arrived. We have four varieties of um, local meats, and we have some cream of fat, some lardo, and then we have some artichokes. So here is my portion of the steak, and we also got some Florentine white beans. My hubby's portion, which I will be adding to, and then here is the bone. To finish off, we got these little biscotti. We just got some more gelato even though we had a big meal. My hubby is having the banana with um, coffee and I am having the same banana but I am also having cinnamon and their cinnamon flavor is absolutely incredible. It tastes just like a Cinnabon. Here we are at the San Lorenzo Market. We're gonna walk through and head into the Mercato Centrale for the indoor food market. So here we go. Here is the indoor food market. It's a whole bunch of stalls. So we are on the rooftop of a department store in Florence and we're just having lunch at the little cafe. I am having tortellini and my hubby is having the penne. This was supposed to have gorgonzola on it and here is our view. We are finally having pizza. My hubby has been wanting this for so long. We are at Gusta Pizza and it got really good reviews. I am having the margarita and my hubby is having the calabrese, which is similar except it has the spicy salami. It is super busy here. We got here right when it opened, so we were lucky enough to get a seat. And you can see the wood oven just up front here. Hubs and I walked by this Pucci store literally two days ago and it was in shambles. They had um, scaffolding all over it and we looked inside and there was like nothing pretty much. They were still cutting shelves and such and we walked by this evening and it is almost done down to the dressed mannequins, the merchandise and even the pricing for the stuff in the window. Thank you. 